Hi, my name's Stephen and I'm part of the River Cottage team. We're here in the kitchen of the farmhouse at Park Farm and I'm going to be showing you a very simple recipe. It is the best bacon butty you have ever tried. We're going to be using some really nice pork belly and the cure that goes with the pork belly, we're going to have some crushed juniper berries, a little bit of bay leaf and demerara sugar and fine salt. You get your equal measures of demerara sugar and salt and you just whack them together in a mixing bowl. That would be enough for the cure, but we want to add a little bit of our own flavour in there. So I like juniper berries, lightly bruised, mixed in there, bay leaves, just a handful, straight from the garden. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to mix that up. And that's all the ingredients mixed up. It's really very simple. So in order to get that raw pork belly into bacon, it's a process which is repeated over several days, but it's the same thing you have to repeat. So day one of the curing, a handful of the cure, and you just lightly sprinkle that on the bottom of your tray. And then you take your piece of pork belly, you pop that on top, you get another handful of the cure and you sprinkle it lightly over the pork belly and any excess on your hands you just rub in the sides. And that is it. What you now do is you either place that in your pantry or on the bottom of your fridge and you leave it for 24 hours. What you'll notice after 24 hours when you come back to it, lots of liquid in the bottom of the tray. Now you need to pour that away. That's all you need to do. But making sure you pour away the liquid after every 24 hours. So after five days, you'll notice that there's a change in the bacon. It will be firmer, it will be a slightly different colour. And of course, less moisture will be coming out of it. So five days is your key, but those are really strong indicators that the curing process is going well. If you've got a place where you can hang your meat outside, and I mean out of direct sunlight, no rain on it, in the right temperature, so not over summer, you don't want to attract flies, with the air going over it, that is the perfect place to hang your bacon. Something happens in the vagaries of the weather. I don't know what it is, but it adds an amazing flavour to the bacon. And I urge you to try it if you can. This is a piece that's been hanging outside for those five days. We're on really day 11. The changes are it's firmer, slightly darker. I don't know whether you can see, but there's this lovely showing of bloom here. Bloom is a marketing term for white mould, okay? It's a benign mould. This is also showing you that the cure inside is happening just right. There's no shelf life really to something like this. It's been cured. So this piece will give us enough for a bacon butty, but then we'll leave it a couple of weeks longer. After two weeks, we'll be able to take chunks off and add them into things like pasta, nice sauces, soups, stews, that sort of thing. And then maybe four weeks after, depending on the size of your piece of pork originally, you'll get to the point where you can just shard those nice little bits off and eat them raw. So I've thinly cut some bacon just with a sharp knife, really simple, and then popping that in my pan. Okay, that's cooked long enough for me. Nice little bit of colour on there, some crispiness. Pop that on the buttered bread. Last rasher there. Lovely soft loaf, freshly baked. Piles of bacon on there. Oh, best bacon butty ever.